And dude, you guys need to think about all the fucking people that don't believe in you right now and all the people who truly think you guys ain't gonna amount to shit. Okay, and you guys need to fucking carry that shit around in a bag. And at any point you take your foot off the gas, you need to pour gasoline down your fucking throat. I mean it. And it needs to stir your ass up. If it doesn't bother, people say it doesn't bother me when people talk shit. No, it fucking bothers me. And I'm gonna burn their eyes out with my winning. I didn't say I was gonna say something to them. I don't comment to losers, but I'm gonna burn their fucking eyes out. That's for sure. And I want you guys to torture your haters with your success. I want you to intentionally make sure they see you win and win at a big level. We got 100 people in the room. That means you are the one out of the 100 in the room. I wish everybody could be a one percenter in the room. It's possible, but it is so hard. But only the hard stuff pays, right? Some of you guys, when stuff gets hard, you know what you do? You stop. I see some of you guys that should be so far by now, but you keep quitting. Because you don't respect time. Only for one reason, you don't respect time. I want everybody to start realizing that, look, stop taking the people who are supporting you for granted. Stay close to the people who want to see you win. Okay? Stay close to them. And by the way, never not believe in yourself again. Never, never. It's a waste of time. What value do you get out of doubting yourself? What value? Somebody tell me. What value do you get out of having a bad mood? Zero. What value do you get out of having a conversation with something that doesn't do anything for your life? Zero. If you're doing something for their life, that's value. The idea of this, you gotta go through and realize what it is that you're doing right now that needs to be cut out so we can start doing the productive things that we need to be doing that'll get you 10 times farther 10 times faster. Do you guys believe in timing? I'm gonna tell you this right now. Everybody in this world has opted out of winning. They've opted out. You know what that means? Are they in here training? No. You know what they've done? If they've opted out of winning, what did they do? They opted into losing. It's never been easier to be great. How do you know if you're a true visionary or you're crazy? Listen, I want you guys to think about it real quick, okay? Now I want you to think about this. I want you to think about you for a minute. No one else, okay? Think about you. How do you know if you're a true visionary or you're crazy? By the way, a lot of us in here probably work from a state of madness and we are crazy. And we push ourselves from a level of nobody believed in us, we believed in ourselves, and then we're pushing to prove everybody wrong and to push to prove to ourselves that we can do what we said we can do. But how do you know the difference? How do you know the difference, though, between a true visionary or somebody who's crazy? Well, I'm going to tell you, it's really simple. You make what you say happen. That's how you know the difference.